I'll just start with the bad news up front. Today was supposed to be the release of Forge Industry, the game that I and the rest of the team here at Bite Me Games have been working on for the past 18 months and today was gonna be the big release where you could go down to the first link in the description down below and buy it. Instead, we have had to delay our game, which has been the hardest decision I've had to make through my life as a game developer and also generally almost, I think it's pretty much in the top three hardest decisions I've had to make in life in general. So. I want to talk a bit more about what led up to this because I want to educate you developers as well and maybe just other people who are interested in the game. Why did we delay our game and why is it such a big deal? And just, yeah, maybe give you some actionable steps as well at the end in order to prevent from you having to do the same thing that I just had to do together with the team. So if this is the first video you're watching, well, we are making our own game Forge Industry, a resource management and automation game. And we were planning on releasing today. And we actually, last week, there was a Steam Next Fest and we got a lot of very positive feedback because we had a free demo you could play there. We got about 3,000 downloads, we got a whole bunch of wish lists, a lot of good feedback. But there were two main issues why we had to delay our game. The first one is that we simply had bad timing and we didn't really realize it back when we originally decided on the release date. So our original release date was June 30th, which is the second day of the Steam Summer Sale, which is just about the worst possible day you can release your game out of the entire year. Because Steam Summer Sale is the biggest sale of the entire year. You're right at the beginning of it, so everyone is still like looking into all of the new or like the AAA games that before they were like, I'm not going to pay for those full price, I'm going to wait till a sale. That's now. And you suddenly have to compete with all of those games. Second of all, you also get barely any of the marketing advantages. So we have been collecting all of these wish lists. If we were to release right now, well, people would get an email that their wish listed game is available, but they get so many emails now because they also get an email for every other game they've wish listed, which has gone into discount right now. So you suddenly just bury yourself for no reason between all of the other games. And that was the main reason. So that's why we had to delay by at least two weeks to not have to deal with the, the after effects of the summer sale. Now, the second reason is because we aren't happy with the state of our game. We are feature complete. We have everything implemented that we wanted to implement. All of our core features, all of the things we've been marketing to you guys, we've been showcasing through devlogs, it's all in the game. The issue is the state in which they're in the game. We uncovered too many bugs really during the Steam Next Fest. Too many people having weird edge cases that we didn't test for or simply that we never really updated the code for maybe whilst we were implementing new features. And at first we're like, oh well, no worries. We have a week between Next Fest and our release. We'll get it out on time. We'll be able to fix all of the bugs. But honestly, even though we have been working as hard as we can, we couldn't get it all done on time. And that's the second reason is we had to decide, do we release a game which is very buggy and that we will fix in the next few weeks, pinky promise, and we actually will, or do we just delay the game, disappoint some of the people who had already wishlisted it, but at least they'll have a good experience when it comes out. Now that I say it like this, it sounds very obvious, just delay the game. What's like, you don't wanna get all of these negative reviews. But when it's your game and you've been working on it for so long, having to make that decision is really tough. And in the end, we had to make it. And it was actually our mentor who was like the final straw, who three days before release was like, guys, really reconsider this. This is the worst possible thing you can do to release right now. I wasn't having any of it. I think I from the team was the most against rescheduling. And even I at some point had to realize that, yeah, our current way of working, we're not gonna get it done there. So yeah, we had to delay the game. Then the next big question was how long? And of course we knew the minimum time. We had to delay two weeks basically until the Steam summer sale was over. But we figured that we should give ourselves one more week just to like, in case, in case some bigger bugs come up or some bugs aren't really as easy as we thought they were. So we don't have to re-reschedule because that would just be horrible. Then I will just ship the game probably. Or you have to deal with a massive PR backlash basically because rescheduling so many times, nobody likes it. And even Steam was already like kind of mad at us for rescheduling so last minute. But honestly, we didn't know how deep we were until last minute. So yeah, our new release date is July 21st, three weeks from when this video comes up. 
I have full confidence that we'll be able to release by then. We'll have a game, we'll have a playable game, and it'll be a great experience without any bugs. Or without any bugs that should at least impact your game. We had stuff like, oh, I start a game and it immediately crashes to desktop. Yeah, where do you even begin debugging that? So that's what we're gonna be having some fun with over the next few weeks. We didn't wanna do longer because we really wanna get this game out. Because we had already have a schedule for our next game, really. And we don't want to keep delaying this game's release because then we'll get into trouble because we also have a game we want to showcase back in October that we need to have a demo ready for that. And right now we have nothing yet. Our plan is to release Forge Industry, give like some updates, fix some bugs if they were on launch. Now, of course, we're delaying, so there shouldn't be that many anymore. And then immediately dive into our next project so we can have a demoable solution for that by the end of this year. Now, I want to share with you some things that I've learned from this experience as well, because it was probably one of the most educative and also just, you know, humbling experiences almost of being a game developer. And I think the main problem we had was that the team didn't hold each other accountable enough or maybe we didn't respect another enough. I don't know how to phrase this correctly, but basically we had a lot of, oh, I told you like a month ago that this was a problem, but I feel like we never truly were like, guys, stop what we're doing we need to figure this out we're not going to continue with development until we have figured out what's our release date do we have an actual plan or are we just going to see whatever we can do not that i want to blame anyone we all are to blame here even though we did our best but we still it's our first game we made in the end i'm still very proud of what we've accomplished so far and the second main problem we had is that we never stopped implementing new features really Normally what you do when you have a game is that you will go golden. And that means that there's no new features anymore. Everything you do now is, you know, tweaking up the UI a little bit or fixing bugs, but there's no new features. And up until basically, even during Nextfest, we were still pushing out new features, which meant that we couldn't even properly test them. That would have meant we had one week from making the feature to fully testing it and then shipping it on top of all the other bugs we were already dealing with. And that also has led to me personally taking the deadline for our next project that we'll be working on after Forge Industry, which you'll hear about soon after we release Forge Industry probably, and just double the time span because I don't want to make the same mistake as I've done for this game and just overpromise basically get some deadlines that we really just can't deliver upon. And yeah, that's basically what I want to talk about. There's no game that you can play right now. If you played the game during Next Fest and you enjoyed it or you thought there were some problems, comment them down below. I want to hear from your experience as well, especially if you've got an invested or you've wishlisted a game. Do you think this was a good move? Are you still excited for the game? And if you're new here, we're game developers making our own game, as I said. And we also just make content about game development where you can follow along what are we doing, or we also make some tutorials, some vlogs, things like that. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to go ahead and leave us a like and also subscribe down below as it really helps us out and you get these cool videos twice a week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.